money to the, to the nation because it's protected by law. So this is what we propose. This is our tribal government here. This is the United States government here. The Department of Interior is here. Bureau of Indian Affairs, the BIA, which is the facilities portion here. Bureau of Indian Education, this is the education component here. And there's a partnership that was developed between the BIE and DOTI, which is here. That's why this red line is here. It's a partnership. This partnership still needs to continue. That way we work with them so that we hopefully get all the monies that we um, need to operate our schools. Now, the way the monies are currently allocated to schools is regarding their ISEP count, the number of students that you have at each school. The goal is to leave that the same in the transportation monies that you turn in every year to, to the federal government. And that too is protected by law. And our nation over here, they can't put their hands in it because it's protected by law. Administrative costs is here. That will go into what we call a DOTI plus. Here's DOTI right here. Okay. Here's an elevation board of ed right here. Here's what we're going to see in uh, DOTI plus. Department of an Education plus is what we're going to call it. And that's going to operate as a public law 10297. That's a grant. The purpose is to, for school operations. And I'll go into more detail on the next slide. Okay, so the monies will go directly from BIE directly to the 66 schools. These are the schools here. The school boards exist here. Okay, we haven't determined how that's going to be. But we do, we, we, well, we have determined that we're going to make sure that there's representation in all the agencies, which is Shiprock, Crown Point, Fort Defiance, Chinle, and Tuba City. We have to make sure that those are represented. Okay, the Bozba is here. Okay, they're still going to provide hope, technical assistance to the school boards. Okay, also with Kelly. Now, hopefully this, if, if this is what's accepted after the final agreement, then all this is protected by law. So the rumor that you're hearing that um, if the Navajo Nation gets our money, we're not going to, we're only going to get a little bit. Of it. Most of the money is protected by law already. Okay, now I'm going to go into what Doty Plus is going to look like. Okay? The location has not been determined yet for Doty Plus. But what has been suggested is that we have to have the Office of Human Resources, okay? Office of Finance, Office of School Governance, and Office of Academics. Just like a school district. Public school. All this is housed in one area. Okay? The regional offices, it's suggested that we have five, but there's other plans that are being developed. There, there could be more. It hasn't been determined yet. But we want to make sure that, that each school is represented, represented in each of, the, each of these regional education offices. We want to make sure that there's school boards in, in each of these offices. That has not been determined yet as to Who's going to be there where? But this office will directly have a link to Doty Plus. So if, if we want, if say for instance, if Tuba City wants to do their own hiring so that they can get teachers out to the schools, then maybe that's what, what they can do. That hasn't been determined yet because we're going to be meeting with the stakeholders this year. Same thing. I know there's concerns saying that, well, if, if it's all housed in Winter Rock, then we might not get the teachers that we need. But that hasn't been determined yet. Tuba City could do their own hiring, Shabrat could do their own hiring, and so forth. If, if the school needs help with curriculum, 
They contact our nearest educational center so they can get help with their curriculum. If they need help with the net content standards to develop their uh, network curriculum, they can get help from their regional agency. They don't have to come all the way to Winterall. Okay? So this all is going to be discussed in this upcoming year. Okay? That concludes my presentation. Now we'll entertain questions. You know what he emphasized in the several slides is building a Navajo educational system. They want some kids to live. We never had that in place from day one. There's only one school on Navajo that the Navajo Nation owns in the college. So they're not in Kyoka. Charter by the Navajo Nation under the Navajo Nation government. All these schools on Navajo, they were brought in by different governments. Federal governments, state governments. They're about the issue. I call grant schools, tribal control school. That's the only school that we have some jurisdiction over right now. In fact, through this public law 197, that's a big hour. え、いや。ピカピアイアプリスクリスセットとね。エルセンタルセドです。ハジョ。ハステクトカ。ピバイスアンバダキ。ハジョ、ハジョパステトニ。アコアジョタトカ。サ。アロウイアロハジョエリア
Azor, qui est avec un fils, on va dire, why can't young can't do that? Why can't all the grand schools do that? That's the big question. So hopefully, this plan here will help us come together and make a decision and really be determined, determined to make it happen. It's going to take a tremendous amount of leadership at the local level, at the tribal level. Even the hard countries came to Boston. I'm sure we're going to count you in. But my daughter here, Dr. Lula Stegel, she has a brilliant mind, outstanding educator. She understands education very well. People like her are going to bring in and help us build the system. So we say, tell you, Let's be patient. Let's let's leave our door open. Let's try hard and make use of this opportunity. And so I want to just uh, capture those statements before you ask your questions. Today's your brother shall say, And I was brand new to this job. Man. I really didn't know what to expect. I tried my best to steer the conversation in the right direction, but people had already, they came in with preconceived ideas. The worst case scenario, I walked out of that meeting with about 100 arrows in my back. But that's okay. That's okay. And that's, that's what it's going to take. I don't have all the answers. I don't know everything. I try my best to survive every day like every one of you. I have challenges. That's just a fact of life. So that they know where they're going. They know early on they're going to be an accountant when they get that college diploma. They know early on they're going to be a nurse. We are hoping that through this kind of a Navajo education system, where culture, language is really 